Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. Here we go. The new beast, Webworks. So the frame weight's about 2.6 kilograms. We've got bonded carbon joining the lugs there. So it's chain stay, seat stay. So basically all the tubes are bamboo. We've got a SRAM red, drill race sort of groups in there. Power tap, power meter on the rear. Some uh, just basic stuff. Thompson seat post. XDR pedals, specialised fork there. Great bike to ride. This is midway through a 320k ride in Thailand. Bit of rain that day. Just washed it off a local servo. Great bike. Just so comfortable to ride. So comfortable to ride. Just, just amazing ride. BambooBikeMaker.com. That's the website there. Check it out. Phil Webb. Good guy to deal with. Standard 10 speed in the back there, power tap, power meter, SRAM red, and that's a yeah, specialized fork, Chris King headset, specialized fork, alloy stero, got an Eastern EA70 stem there, nice and strong, durable product, very durable products, that's what we're going for, durability, durability and function, definitely. Fresh sugar cane juice. Oh, boy, I did a time verdict. I did a 1043. There's a man with the largest calves. Needs two racing licenses. One for his calves. One for his bike. How's that feel, Dan? Corks for action? Not real good today. <laughs> He's got a corkscrew. It's like an Adelaide. One of the hardest climbs in Adelaide. It's uh, it's epic. <sighs> and you got a lot of durian. So it's been over a year now, I've had the bamboo bike, I've been racing it in Div 1, A grade, it's 11 kilograms, so it's not the lightest bike, some of the guys I'm racing with on 6.8 kilo bikes, but man, personally, an extra 4 kilos on a bike doesn't make a difference to me, because I'm not racing into the Tour de France, where you've got to save 20 seconds over a 20k climb for GC at the end of 3 weeks, so 11 kilo bike, my bike's always the heaviest bike in the bunch, always. And I'm never getting dropped though. This year I've, I've dropped other, you know, fit riders on Trek 6.9 SSL Madones, Tarmac SL4s with full lightweight wheels, blah, 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 Parleys, all that. I'm just riding past on the 11 kilo bamboo bike and it's causing a, quite a stir in the lightweight cycling community <laughs> online. They're like, who the fuck's this vegan guy on the 11 kilo bike? just dropping people on the 5 kilo bombs or the 6 kilo specialising tracks. How the fuck does that work? Like I always say, bike fit is key. Bike fit is key. Find the best bike fitter around that can fit you to your bike. And for me, that's Steve Hogg. I see when I'm in Sydney, Australia, and I use the midfoot cleat position. That's another video story. Custom shoe there, midfoot cleat. I'm just using a mountain bike pedal here. As you've seen in the video, I just use a mountain bike pedal. So the vegan guy with the mountain bike pedals, <laughs> the 11 kilo bike made out of bamboo, overtaking all the people on the $12,000, six kilo, seven kilo bikes up the long climb. So it doesn't matter how much your bike weighs. As long as it's, if it's under 12 kilos, 13 kilos, it's light enough. What matters is bike fit, glycogen levels, hydration, early nights, mental focus, training with people who are better than you so your, your VO2 max goes up, 
That's what matters. Training smarter versus harder. Don't get up caught up being a weight weenie. Have a bike that fits you. Enjoy it. Ride it. Ride upgrades before you buy upgrades. That's the secret. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Any questions about the bamboo bike? Post them down below. Post your experiences. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. Share this video with people who have never heard of a bamboo bike. Share it around. And thanks for watching. See you next video.